What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I want to talk about the good and the bad. So far with accessibility in iOS 12 beta, we are right now about a month and a half away from the final betas, so from the Golden Master, the official release. Hopefully it's going to be in late August, early September. Alright, now I'm going to show you the good and the bad of accessibility. We're going to focus on voiceover and Right now I'm just straight up going to talk about Zoom. With Zoom, so far it's very flawless. There's no skipping or anything. I haven't found any problems. Uh, the first beta I did have problems getting into full screen view and with the little uh, uh, viewing window that it, you know you can get the options. I have had no problems after beta 1 with Zoom. With voiceover it's a different story. Let's turn on voiceover. Voiceover on. Messages. Now, the problem I've had with voiceover, everything's been fine with voiceover except some things were not labeled, so sometimes Apple did not mis did not label, so it's mislabeling. Um, you know, so let's do this. Go to App Store. App Store. Selected. So this is a bad, and then we're going to go to the good. And no matter what you do, it's always going to crash the first time. Oh, it didn't do it this time. Cool. Today. Tab. Today. So, in the Today tab is where... It they have these new animations that have Today, really, Wednesday, really bad design. Uh, these tabs are so badly designed because they're designed for the sighted. And the sighted community, I'm sorry to say this, those of you who are sighted, but it's all about, ooh, it needs to look nice. And then they look at accessibility later. And they can make these pictures buttons instead of just, you know, static images. So let's, I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do just swiping left and right, and then we're going to do explore by touch, just so you get an idea. Rediscover this. Battle button. See? Button. Not labeled. Rediscover this. Battle mute. How to. But obtain your Slack notifications. Button. Tap for five tips to tailor your Slack settings. App of the day. Button. Weebly. Build a unique website and store. Button. Get. In-app purchases. Game of the day. Button. Lego registered Star Wars trademark. TCS. Adventure. Button. Get. In-app purchase. The basics. Master your workday. Button. The daily list. Button. Build your skills. Grow your career. LinkedIn Learning. Online courses. So, the problem, the, some things are just not labeled properly and they keep saying like, uh, for example, some things will just say button and it won't mark. And then the real problem is when you start doing explore by touch. Page 3 of 8. Lego, page 2 of, Lego registered, page 1 of 8. Page Let's one of eight. go ahead and do that. Today, rediscover this. Battle for glory. Comma, Vainglory's epic moment is here to stay. Rediscover this. Battle for glory. Comma, Vainglory's epic moment is here to stay. Rediscover this. Battle for glory. So then, Vainglory's epic moment is here to stay. There's a lot of empty space, and then when I scroll down a little bit, page two of eight. Take your Slack notifications button. There's quite a bit of empty space. App of the day button. Weebly, build a unique web get in app purchases button. Page three of eight. Weebly, build a unique website and store. Game of the day button. Lego registered Star Wars get in app purchases. So. There's a lot of image space that they could use, you know, to make the, you know, to open up the app uh, preview in the app store. They could use space, or they could just label it and say this image is of whatever, which nobody does, but still, they could do something. Why do I have to hear that there's nothing there? Why can't it make it ex accessible and just label an image or something? Just do something, man. That's not labeled. The basics. Ma the basics. Master your workday. Button. The basics. Master your the, build your skills. Grow your career. LinkedIn learning. So it's like the top cards. Page three of There's eight. something page about one, like page one of eight. the top card three cards that are with that problem. Rediscover this. Battle for glory. Comma. Page two of eight. Tain your Slack notification. App of the day. So there's a lot of problems with that. Now. Sixty five percent. There is. Seventy five percent. Seventy. Sixty five per Sixty percent. I'll show you the speed thing later. Uh, now we're going to go to the iTunes store, which is where also there's more problems. But it's not as severe. It's with iTunes, uh, the uh, Apple Music section. Okay. iTunes store. iTunes store. Selected. So, Music. Tab. One of five. come on, Selected. load. Music. Tab. One of five. Okay, so I, I, you know, I got lists of stuff. So the internet. Just w. Meg Myers. Music. And it I flips through the, it flips through the cards. That's fine. Hi, Mont. All is summer. Real hat forever. Explicit. So that's like the second row. Now the third row. Here's the problem. Apple Music button. 
they all say different things, but they all labeled as Apple Music. Nothing is labeled correctly in this section. Apple Music button. 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 Apple Music. And it's changing cards, so there is different labels for these things, but they're just not labeled. Natural. If one dollar and twenty-nine preview level up. Level up. Music. iOS up next. Choose WRL. Music. iOS up next. Choose WRL degrouping group number two. Button. So it's labeled by groups. So they labeled this so WRL group whatever. I don't know. This is how it sounds. Music. iOS up next. Choose WRL degrouping group number one. Button. So that's how they name it. WRD group number grouping number one. Music. iOS up next. Choose WRL degrouping group number two. Button. So group building group group building number two. So they labeled it for the developers, but they didn't label it for people who are voiceover users. So I submitted everything into the developer portal, so we should get that fixed by the final beta. I just um so far, you know, everything's been nice. Now let's talk about the good. Headings, containers, speaking rate. Now, when you have the speed tree at 100% in iOS 11, it tends to garble some words together, and they fixed it now so that it's so much more clear. And if you're a newbie to voiceover or to screen readers in general, um, it's actually easier to understand voiceover at 100% speed. 60, 70, 75, 80%, 85%, 90%. So this is only 90%. Let's start here and look how more understandable it is compared to iOS 11. That is amazingly clear. Now watch what happens when I switch it to 100%. That is so much clearer compared to iOS 11. That is awesome that Apple did that. So those are the changes I have found so far in iOS 11, I mean iOS 12, with voiceover. Um, Zoom has been fine, so that's why, hence why we didn't talk about Zoom. I had a problem in beta one, as I mentioned, uh, with the, I don't know if I mentioned it, because this is my second take on this video. Well, I'm gonna talk about it again anyway. I'm sorry if I repeat it, but uh, there is a problem where in beta one, when I was zoomed in, I couldn't get access to the, to the, to the pop-up window to give me settings for zoom. That feature has been resolved in the later betas, so it's crazy, you know, that it's a month and a half away and it's already pretty stable. You know, there's still problems with accessibility, but we're getting there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, accessibility overview for iOS 12 beta. I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet, but basically my thoughts on, hey, my thoughts on iOS 12. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.